Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So I waited a little while to record this vlog because I really wanted to think things over regarding Android Wear. Smartwatches and smart wearable technology is without doubt going to be the big thing in 2014. It's already sh proving itself in some respect just with the number of announcements we've seen of this type of product. 2013 was I suppose was the year in which it all started. You know, the smartwatch 2 whilst the second iteration of the smartwatch series uh, showed how popular the product was. We sold a lot of them um, here at Clove and they're still quite popular products now. Samsung Galaxy products weren't quite so um, popular in terms of the gear range because of the limited uh, range of devices they're actually compatible with. But Android Wear certainly marks the major first step, if you like, in developing the smart wearable technology. Whilst I've used uh, the smartwatch, I've never wanted to personally splash my cash on one of these just yet. I don't feel the need for it. I wear a watch on a daily basis. I have my smartphone and it would be great if they can communicate. But truth be told, I've never felt the need to actually opt for one of these smartwatches as yet. But Android Wear really looks like it could be the thing that pushes me uh, to do that. The fact that it's sort of taking a Google Now style approach to things looks really, really interesting. And of course, the Motorola Moto 360 looks stunning. I know they're just renders and it's going to be a little bit before we see a physical product, but no one could deny those renders look the part and they look really stylish. I'm kind of into my watches. I don't spend a lot of money, but I like watches. I don't just have one watch. I've got about four or five that I alternate between with different styles and the uh, Moto 360 looks to be one that really will attract the vast majority of people because of its style, its design, it looks high-end, it looks quality, and if it works as well as the promo video suggests, uh, it's going to be a really popular product. Now, we'll, of course, be uh, following all this quite closely here at Clove, and hopefully we'll be stocking uh, the Moto 360 and others as they come out through the year. It's going to be an interesting time in terms of the circular screens, the technology, Motorola keeping quite quiet about it, and not really an awful lot has been said about how these products are going to work, how they're going to develop, but it's really interesting, and I'd be interested to hear your feedback, what your thoughts are, whether you've owned a Sony smartwatch or similar product in the past, maybe one of the Pebble series, and how you think these new Android wearables are really going to stand up against the competition out there. Will they set a new benchmark, or will the other manufacturers running their own custom OS's step up and compete with them. Um, it's going to be difficult to see how they compete with Google uh, with all the information and technology and the investment they put into these products uh, but maybe someone can actually do it. Samsung are obviously pushing quite hard but I think reading between the lines they'll have their own um, Android wearable device so I guess time will tell and uh, roll on the latter part of this year. I don't want to wish time away, but I think I'm going to have to in this instance to see these devices and what they bring us. So until next time, thanks for watching.